So in a previous tutorial, uh, I showed you how you can get to all the sounds on your machine pretty quickly. Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how once you've found those, found those sounds, uh, the, things, the various things you can do with them uh, using Core. So let's do another example where I'm looking for a sound, as I showed you earlier. Let's say I'm looking for, uh, this time, a bass that is analog and distorted that I might use in, say, industrial music. So I made those specifications right there and I'm going to load one of the sounds that it's given me in my hit list right here, similar to working with like Google or something like that where I can just type things in. So now I've got my bass sound. And using the core hardware controller, you can hear I'm adjusting the cutoff frequency of that bass sound. But that sound actually came from the Pro 53 synthesizer. Um, if you look at the rack, inside the core user interface right here. The sound is actually loaded into this rack, but that's not what the Pro 53 instrument looks like. This is what Pro 53 looks like right here. What's happened is that core is giving the Pro 53 just a standard rack interface that allows me to get to all of the parameters inside Pro 53 without having to worry about the ins and outs of Pro 53 itself. Uh, I don't have to learn where all the knob positions are on Pro 53 because I know where they are on my core controller. And I actually have multiple pages of controllers that I can flip through on the core controller because I have eight knobs that I might use to control filter cutoff, um, resonance, um, oscillator A pitch, things like that. But with a page down, I can actually get to another eight parameters that can instantly be controlled. If I go ahead and load another sound in here, let's say I'll load this one called uh, Playmobil Bass. Um, and this one is actually inside Reactor 5. You'll notice as I have these uh, search hits on my right-hand side that I'm loading from, I don't have to necessarily care what instrument these are coming from. All I need to know is that I'm looking for a specific sound and leave it at that. Now I'm actually playing both those sounds at once and I can tweak one or the other of them at any given time using the core controller. You'll notice that it got loaded into the rack here. Now I see a second racked instrument inside here. So we're giving a standardized interface to all of the instruments that get loaded into core so that I can deal with them on a much, much simpler level. Now, of course, if I want to get into the specifics inside the Playmobil base inside Reactor, I can do that. But the point is, is that if I don't want to, if I'm just interested in the sound, I want to get to it quickly, I want to change its parameters, I can do that very easily inside core. So that's kind of how you can tweak sounds in core and standardize and simplify working with the interfaces of the plugins themselves.